Rabbi, it says uh, that uh, it was Asaph's angel that was sent. Um, so if Asaph was, he was born evil, he never corrected himself, he stayed that way, why was he deserving to have an angel? Um, is that, it was, in other words, was the angel actually sent by God? Well, there was nothing to write home about this angel. This angel was uh, considered the angel of the uh, Sahara, the Malach he's, 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 uh, he's the angel of death, angel of bad, angel of talking people into doing things wrong. So that was the type of angel that he got. That was, and, uh, and the contrary, it was like a punishment. He got such an angel like this. So oh, but it's was, so evil people ha have angels as well. I mean, it, it was the angel of the nation. Of course, he was a small nation then. It grew into a great, well, large nation afterwards, Sayer, Asav. But uh, at that time, it was just starting off in infant stages of a nation. Then a nation has the angel over it, of the whole, the whole nation. But, but it was, was it God that sent this angel on behalf of Asav? Of course, Asav, it doesn't come or? by himself. And that's what he's, got. he's a servant of God and the angel. So he's representing Asav, but he's a servant of God. Right. Is, is uh, I think I once mentioned not long ago that uh, one of the great rabbis in the Gemara, the Talmud said that the Yetzihara has the right intention of serving God. God sent him to this world to give people tests, give them challenges. He's doing, he's doing what he's supposed to do. So he's really good, except he has the bad type of thing to, 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 to handle. So he came and so he came and kissed him on his feet. He said, finally, somebody everybody hates me so much. What do you for me? That's what I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing my job. So he, he was very happy that they recognized that it's not, he's not bad, except he represents bad. It's, it's God's shliach to represent, uh, uh, to, to give us a challenge for us to grow from, for us to uh, get better. But he's considered a, uh, not the source of goodness. Would it have been possible for Yaakov to send an angel representing him to fight this evil angel? Well, that's the greatness. We're talking about Yaakov Vinu didn't have to send an angel. He himself was strong enough, great enough, to fight him physically and spiritually. He couldn't get him to sin. They couldn't get him to, he couldn't overpower him. That's what a lot of the commentaries bring out this point. They were so great that he was able to overpower. We, from here we see, the Medrash said, here we see a man can be greater than an angel. He didn't need another angel to fight him. He fought him with himself, by himself. Thank you.